So, the other day I'm making a stop motion video and I load all 165 images of my stop motion into Premiere Pro. And I go to put them on the timeline and I realize they're all like five seconds long when what I really want is them to be about one second long. So I was about to start changing each one of those images down to one second when I thought, wait a minute, what am I doing? There has to be a better way to do this. And I figured it out. So I want to share that with you today and show you how to change the default length of the images that you load into your timeline so you don't have to manually do it. Let's jump right into it. Okay, here I have my Premiere Pro project loaded up. Now let me just make a new sequence. I am going to change it to custom and for a stop motion video I want 10 frames per second. And I'm going to switch these around because I was making this for Instagram Reels so I had a vertical video. Okay, just going to hit OK. Now I am going to load all of these, take all of these videos here and I'm going to drop them on the timeline. And as you see, each one of them is way too long. As a little bonus tip here, I'll show you if you just change this video, this is 32%, it goes down like that. And if you hit Control C on this, now I'm hitting A on the keyboard and I'm selecting the rest. I want that one too. I'm selecting the rest of these and hitting Command V or Control V and now I've set them all to the right length. But obviously this isn't going to work for me because each one of these is too long. They're currently sitting at, what do we got? Five seconds in duration. So that is no good. So I'm going to delete all of those. And the key to doing this here is you have to go into your preferences and go into timeline. And now you'll see here still image default duration is set to five seconds. Now what I actually want is to set this to one frame. Now the reason I want to set it to one frame is because I have a 10 frames per second timeline is what that's what I want my stop motion to be. So I want each image to be one frame. Okay, now when I drop these in, what happens? I'm just going to select all this, hit Control or Command V to paste again my control functions to get those all down to the proper size. And I hit it and look at that, nothing happened. Now why is that? Now there's like a little weird thing within Adobe Premiere Pro that when you load these images in, whatever you currently had set as your timeline is what it uh, like imprints on them. So all of these things that I've put in here currently have this five second imprint on them. So really the only way to get around this is to, I mean leave a comment down below if you know a simpler way, but what I had to end up doing was just taking all of these, deleting them out of here, going back, reloading them, and when you reload them into here, they're gonna have that new one frame, one frame timeline. So now when I drop them in the timeline here, that didn't work, now when I drop them in the timeline, and I zoom in, here we'll go to the first one, and let's see, I'm going to imprint Command V to change them all, because I still have that Command C in my timeline here, change them all to scale 32. Now when I re-imported them with the timeline changed, now they're in the proper one second, or one frame, length and now they're following my timeline which I wanted 10 images per second for my 10 frames per second timeline. All right, I hope that was really helpful. Now for me, I knew about the timeline changing the default length, but what I didn't know was that this weird five seconds got imprinted on all the footage that you brought in or pictures and that you actually had to change the default length within the timeline settings and then re-import the footage for it to overprint and then actually behave the way you wanted it to. Now just remember, if you like this video, help me out by liking it, leaving a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for watching.